Now we can say a few things about subtracting integers. And we'll start by defining it like this. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Adding its opposite. Subtracting a number is the same thing as adding the opposite of that number. What that means is that any subtraction problem can always be rewritten as an addition problem. So if you look at this example, 7 minus 2, that could be rewritten as 7 plus negative 2. In other words, 7 plus the opposite of 2. Instead of subtracting 2, we're adding negative 2. And this idea can be expressed as a general rule, not just this specific case, but as a general rule using variables. We can say a minus b is always equal to a plus negative b. And you could read this as a plus the opposite of b, but it, it's more commonly read as a plus negative b. a minus b is equal to a plus negative b. And in fact, this is the definition of subtraction. This is how mathematicians define subtraction. Subtracting a number is the same thing as adding the opposite of that number. Here are two examples. We're told to rewrite the following problems as addition problems. Right now they are subtraction problems. We need to rewrite them as addition problems and then solve the problems. So 19 minus 4 can be written as 19 plus negative 4. And the answer there is 15. And the second one, instead of 11 minus 6, we can rewrite it as an addition problem by saying 11 plus negative 6. And 11 plus negative 6 is 5. And we can do this regardless of whether the numbers are positive or negative. Here are two more examples, or three more examples, actually. In each case, we will rewrite the problem as an addition problem and then solve it. So negative 3 minus 2 can be written as negative 3 plus the opposite of 2. And negative 3 plus negative 2, those add up to negative 5. Negative 20 minus 12 can be written as negative 20 plus negative 12. And those add up to negative 32. And in this last example, 8 minus negative 5 could be written as 8 plus the opposite of negative 5, which is positive 5. And 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. And two more, 17 minus negative 20 can be written as 17 plus the opposite of negative 20, which is positive 20. And 17 plus 20 is 37. And negative 6 minus negative 8 can be written as negative 6. And then instead of the minus, we have a plus. And instead of negative 8, we have the opposite of negative 8, which is positive 8. So instead of subtracting negative 8, we are adding positive 8. And mathematically, that's the same thing. Negative 6 plus 8 comes out to equal 2. When you have all these negative signs in here, you need to keep them straight. This means negative or opposite. That's negative 6. And this negative sign here means negative 8 or the opposite of 8. This is the minus sign, a little bit different. So we have negative 6 minus negative 8, which we re rewrote as negative 6 plus positive 8.